him and his he questions his sexuality basically throughout yeah. the whole thing. So uh, it was a challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't ask me how to relate yeah. to that. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a challenge. Yeah, it was a challenge. No, but just, there's a lot of people going right. through, you know, some hard th these what I call these secret struggles right. that we go through, and you guys are challenging that. I mean, and this this is the type of stuff that I think the power of media really uh, gives us to express, letting people know. The worst thing I think that happens is when people feel like they're alone. That they're the only ones going through, and I think that uh, you know I, I don't you know I, I believe that entertainment is necessary, but I'm just like not I mean, don't have all that power and say nothing with, without me. Right. You know don't you know I mean you can only laugh so much in a day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not everything can be goofy. You know what I mean? So this seems like a very serious project. Yeah. It, it, is there is there any comedic points and things like that that you guys? Yeah, are? I wrote it. Um, I wrote it to be. Serious, but not that serious. It's very, very. It's funny. So some of the looks that people get, like for one um, in the club scene when Mario um, is actually has a dinner with um, some clients, they're plotting against him. But it's funny though. It's right. like a little plot. Like they're making facial expressions to each other. Yeah, so but that's how life works. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can be laughing on the cell phone and then end up in a car accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, no way. All of a sudden, it's a kind of comedic drama, a drama or something like that. You know what I mean? And so life does go back and forth, forth like that, and it's never really just one tone. Mm -hmm. and, and that's pretty cool that you guys are doing that. You know, did you feel like, do you feel like that's is going to help you connect to people, young men who maybe struggle yeah, with I mean, that? I feel like it's an everyday struggle for, you know, because it's, it's a lot of women out there, you know, they've been molested. That's the majority of the case that you see a woman, you know, being molested. But, I mean, in certain, in certain um, it happens like, you know, men they have the same thing. So we... You know, it's always focused on just those women and not, you know, it's like the men just kind of like, all right, they'll be all right, it's cool, you know, and yeah. it's, still, it's still a struggle for them, too. Yeah. It's the same as, you know, women. Yeah, I hear you, man. And then that's why I think that, that's why I think that Christians have such a powerful voice, uh, you know, I mean, just actors, even actors have such a powerful voice to right. get out there and connect with different people. All right? Let's tell me about your character. Um, I play Honey. I'm the mama's youngest child, so um, she took me in when I was a baby. And I'm Elijah's mother, so I'm dealing with the struggles of being a single mother. I mean, children, but I'm the youngest in the family, so I can relate to that aspect, and I have my sensitive moments. So right. I can connect to Honey in a few different ways. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you think that maybe, uh, do, you, do you show her at all? You can tell us, do you show all the struggles of, uh, you know, being that youngest sibling, you know, out of, out of this, this fantastic family or this big family, how would that feel like being the youngest as an adult? Well, the interesting thing, and this is something that, another thing I think I can relate to Honey on, even though she's the youngest, she kind of steps up as a leader in a sense, and right, 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 right. kind of tries to get her siblings on the right track in terms of some decision making. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you know, when, when I think about uh, the, uh, the family structure, and some of the things that are going on in, in, in the family, you know, there's always got to be that one person that we can think on as a PC. Do you feel like the character oh, yes. is the, the, the PC? That's why I'm going to say that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He got the jawbreaker. He got the <laughs> but you really feel that there's a lot of parts that connect to her. How do you, how do you manage to be, you know, especially being, being the sweet one? You know, how do you think that in your mind you have to, especially bring bring to the boy? Do you, do you have to have like a creative like sensitivity for you for a single mom, raising a young man? Do you get anything about that? Definitely. I already had that, um, some of that sensitivity. Like I said, my sister's saying, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, can still raise um, a boy really strong, but I think for honey, it's her trying to give herself something, but she didn't get it from her biological family. Right, right. She's kind of trying to have something to do with it. Right. 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 But um, yeah, I'm, I kind of like want to lead everything, but no one really follows me. But in my mind, they do. Right. Right. So. Skids <laughs> I mean, I have good ideas. Yeah. I'm realistic in a selfish kind of way. Right. So my mom left me 
and my dad I never knew him, so she deals with a lot of the paint. So she blocks everybody out, puts up her walls, and it's like, this is, this is it. You know, that's, that's I was going to say that it seems like a lot of the people that seem to be headstrong and, and kind of like, uh, you know, it's, it's like you can't tell them anything, and they have to be that front person, like you said. It seems like they're the ones that actually go through the most, and they're trying to hide a lot. Did you, did you feel that? Oh, yeah, she hides her walls, because, you know, she always thought my mom was going to come back. She used to tell her kids, like, my mom's going to come back. She's going to come back to me. You know, she left me these earrings. Oh, they're amazing. She's coming back. She realized she felt the pain, and she's, like, like dealing with the pain. So she puts up walls to everybody. Like, she keeps yeah. her distance and allows what she wants, in, and then she goes away. If it's something she doesn't like, how, how much do you think that actually damages relationships? I mean, friendships and all that. Tons. Right. People don't, they don't take care of what they need to. They don't realize it. They just push it aside. They don't want to deal with it. And I mean, that's why we pray. Because right. each one of us definitely has our problems, you know? So, and it's something to realize as going through the script. I can relate to it. I might not be her, but I mean, we all you, have Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I, I know that even when, 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 when most people, people including myself, when we go through things, the first thing you want to do is isolate yourself and start building up those walls oh, yeah. immediately. You know, and I can tell anybody I know this is isolate and build up walls. And it seems like, like that's the easier thing to do, even though it causes the most destruction. Right, right. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and do, do you feel like uh, even in, like, like people, to clean the things like success to cover that up a lot of times. Yeah. Is it that her? Think, well, think, well, to her, it's her earrings. Like, this is her comfort. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this is this is home. This is what she has. Might be weird to everybody else. She gets it. She doesn't need anybody else to understand her. So that's that's where her walls are. It's like her. She gets right. herself, and that's all that matters. She's number one to her. Yeah, and, and then everyone else is second place. Right, because no one else put her number one. So wow. she puts herself. Now, what part of the family are you? I'm, I'm one of the, the daughters. I come in. I'm one of the older ones. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of love already. I mean, we might be acting as a family, but we've become one. We're yeah. becoming one. Which, which is, when, usually when people say we're becoming a family, that means I have the right to chew you out. That's right. Yeah. 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 It's funny. But, but, but it is love, right? <laughs> that brotherly way. But what about you? What's going on with you? My character is Marcy, and Marcy is one of the oldest of the children that were adopted in the family. Um, her issues are internal. She has very low self-esteem. She gives too much of herself and not really to her, uh, to herself, yeah. to take care of herself. Her husband means the world to her, and regardless of how he treats her, he means the world to her. Yeah, do, do, do you relate to that at all? Um, in a sense, I mean, I'm dealing with a new relationship, so dealing with the confidence is very important. Having that, that female confidence. Yeah. Um, realizing that what, you know, what you're worth and that no one should take advantage of you. Um, so coming into my own, um, and family are always telling me, oh, you should do this and do that. You know, and then sometimes it's, it's, a, it's a war between yourself and what the family tells you to do. So. No, that makes a lot of sense. But, and then the fact, I mean, I've seen that. Over and over and over again, where you know, mom wants a lawyer, and then the person yes. wants to be an actor, so you that character feels that pressure. Yes. Yeah, and that you know, do you, where do you, where do you think that that does to a person like that when they're trying to deal with who they are and what other people want them to be at the same time? It's a struggle, but like then um, brings back the topic. I mean, while we're right, you have faith and you have confidence in yourself. So regardless of what people say or think. You know, you hold your own. You have that confidence in you. You have the confidence from God. Yeah. So that's that's a big deal. <laughs> do you think? Do you think that maybe, uh, especially with young people uh, who who are, he says she's one of the older children, right? So you know, young people who young adults who are becoming older, if they haven't buckled down yet, and if they haven't had that, you know, that their minds made up of who they are yet, do you feel like there's some insecurities that pop up in that? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, even adults, I mean, in their 40s and 50s have issues with confidence and still don't know who they are. But that's why regardless of what age you are, you need to believe in God. You need to pray. Yeah. <laughs> that prayer thing is, you know, it really is an awesome thing. It really is. And, and I, it, it saddens me sometimes that we allow it to become so cliche. You know, you need to pray, you need to pray, you know, like take two of these and call me in the morning. You know, prayer is a really intimate thing. 
that, that really changes people's lives. You know what I mean? It's, it's interesting that throughout all these different cultures, the one thing that exists is